Louis VIII. Everybody has heard of him. Ask anyone why Henry is horribly famous and they'll probably say, well, Henry had six wives. Everyone knows that, but do they know what his wives were really like? For instance, which wife did Henry reckon was a witch? And which one didn't recognise him on their first date? What about the wife who asked for a practice run the night before she got the chop? Henry wasn't expected to become king. His big brother Arthur was the heir to the throne. But in 1502, Henry's big brother Arthur died. <coughs> Arthur's bride, Catherine of Aragon, was short of a husband. Henry was crowned in 1509. At the time, he was handsome, vain, charming and sporty. But Catherine couldn't conceive a son to inherit the throne. What have you called him? Henry. That's a funny name for a boy. It's a girl. What? How disappointing. Catholic at the time, and even the king needed the Pope's permission to get divorced, so Henry visited the Pope. Marry Anne Boleyn. May I please have a divorce, Pope? No way, Henry! It's against the laws of the Catholic Church! So Henry set up his own church and called it the Church of England, making himself the head. Henry, can you have a divorce? Yes, you can, Henry. I don't want you here anymore. No sooner did the cannon fire to announce Anne's death than Henry galloped off to see his new girlfriend. Ooh, now. Yes. Her name was Jane Seymour. Unfortunately for her, she didn't last long either. What do you call him? Edward. Edward? Yes. It's a boy. Yes! Poor Henry, it had taken him 30 years of marriage and three wives to achieve his dream of a male heir to the throne. Twelve days after the birth of Edward, Jane died. Poor Jane lasted only 18 months on the throne. King Henry was heartbroken. My beloved wife is dead. So, he turned to his other love, food. What have we got for tonight? Well, Henry's there. Um, I've got 24 beefs, I've got 100 fat muttons, 51 great veals, uh, 34 porks, uh, 91 pigs, 700 chickens, 144 pigeons, 168 swans, and 4,000 larks. And what about the vegetables? I haven't got any of those. So. Excellent! Vegetables are for peasants like you! Now go away! Go and do it! I'll go and prepare the banquet, sir. Very well. And what about a little snack? For now. Maybe a whole chicken? Or two, sir. Yes, two would do even better. I'll get right on to it. Had Henry had a belly full of married life after three wives? No, Henry was already on the lookout for wife number four. Henry employed Hans Holbein to paint the women he fancied as future brides. It wasn't done for the king to go and inspect the goods for himself, so Henry sent Holbein to paint a portrait and bring it back. Hans travelled Europe painting every woman that Henry had heard was rich and good looking. Unfortunately for Holbein, the one that caught Henry's eye was the picture of Anne of Cleves. Henry loved the portrait and decided to marry Anne on the strength of it. But Holbein's picture turned out to be much better looking than Anne herself. <coughs> Henry was still married to Anne of Cleves when his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, caught his eye. He was desperate to ditch his ugly wife. 19-year-old Catherine looked just right for his next port of call. She was young and lively. Little did Henry know that he wasn't her first boyfriend and he wouldn't be her last.
Henry fell head over heels in love with Catherine. It didn't matter that the 49-year-old king was old enough to be her dad. <laughs> Catherine Howard was married to Henry, but she had many boyfriends, one of which was Thomas Culpepper. He was caught and tortured on the rack. One by one, Catherine's old boyfriends were arrested, sent to the tower and tortured on the rack until they confessed. Kate herself was terrified of getting the job. She was so afraid of disgracing herself, she even rehearsed her own execution. When he married for the sixth time, in 1543, Henry chose Catherine Parr. Catherine was kind and sensible, not a flirty teenager like the last Cathy. She was 31 and no great beauty, but by this stage Henry was more in need of a nurse than someone to set his pulse racing. Although Catherine was Henry's nursemaid, she still had to watch her tongue. Henry was capable of one last trip to the chopping block. Catherine! What? Oh, I think I'm about to die! In the end, it was Henry who died first, so the last laugh goes to Catherine who survived him.